Hey retro fans, welcome to another episode of Retro Gaming Memories. Um, in this episode we're going to continue with the Were They So Bad um, mini-series that I've been working on. Um, this is where we look at arcade conversions to the Amstrad uh, to see were they actually as bad as I thought they were. Um, you know, usually I thought they were quite disappointing, but... Um, but that was to my nine-year-old brain, you know, they, they weren't arcade perfect, which I was really hoping that they would be. Um, so, so what we're going to do in this is go back and have a little look at some of the arcade conversions and see if they were actually as bad as my nine-year-old brain thought they were. Um, I'm going to treat them as kind of standalone games and see, see what I think of them now, basically. Do they hold up? Were they actually as bad as I thought they were or was it just me hoping for Arcade Perfect on an Amstrad, which was never going to happen. So let's uh, let's dive in. I'm holding this this camera handheld, which is why it keeps moving, because um, I've got my tripod there set up uh, for a decent angle on the TV. So I just thought I'd do this quickly handheld. Um, so yeah, so we're going to dive in um, with 1942, one of my favourite arcade games. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look and see... Was it so bad? Okay, folks, here we go. Let's turn this up a little bit. This is 1942. Um, on the Amstrad, obviously. Um, yeah. Um, turn this down a little bit just now. So that that is a rendition. Oh, let's just hit the tripod, sorry. That's a rendition of a, a World War II movie called 633 Squadron. Um, it's obviously not the music that was in the uh, in the arcade game, which was more of a kind of just a drum roll thing with whistles. Um, anyway, let's turn this down a little bit just now. Um, so yeah, this was done by Elite, um, and uh, yeah, I've not played this for years. Uh, 1942 is one of my favourite arcade games. Um, can we redefine right? So let's see. Let's do the keys thing. Up, down, left, right, fire. So there's no button for uh, for doing the loops, but maybe you just hold it. Don't know. I never use the loops in this game anyway. Right, so let's have a quick game then. Let's see. The music going. So uh, two for one player, which is a bit counterintuitive, but you know. Right, one player start. Here we go. That's the two stage. So no music, just a loop. Ah. So the red plane isn't the red plane. I presume that was supposed to be one of the yellow ones. Um, oh, here we go, right. Here's your power-up plane. Ah, let's see if we can get that. Go away. Oh, yeah. Toe rag. So you can't really, you can't, uh, we've skipped a bit. It's jumped forward. Oh. So. What I would say is this is a lot harder than an arcade game because you can only have a couple of buttons on, eh, a couple of buttons, a couple of bullets on screen. You know, I mean, I'm hitting the space bar for all it's worth and I'm only getting a couple of bullets out. So you've got no chance of taking everything down. Um, let's see if we can get my power up this time. Bugger off to the side, please. Right, power. Did that just make the noise that the Bruce Lee Lantern collection thing makes? At least the, at least the power-up's the same, it's a four bullets thing. Let's rattle him, there we go, out the road. So... Those guys look back, they don't do that in arcade in the first stage, I don't think. They only usually look back in the later stages. What I would say as well is it's really hard to see the enemy bullets because they're little red dots. I don't know if it'll even come out on camera to be honest, but uh, 
you can see mine. I mean, I'm, I'm more rattling. I don't know if you can hear. That's me rattling the the space bar, but I'm not getting the same amount of bullets out. I'll take you backwards bullet there. There we go, and then it automatically lands on your aircraft carrier. 5,000 point bonus. And more of the same, right, so. Oh, let's take my bonus, let's take my power up off me. Ah, cheeky bugger. That's a bit rubbish, you start the stage with no power up. Let's get some power ups rapidly then. Oh no 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 don't go me. Thank you. What's that one? Is that Oh, that was pointless. I don't know what the yellow power up is in this. Uh I'm sure in the arcade the, the alternate power up is just kill everything on screen. Um So you really can't get a good run at these because you can't spray bullets everywhere. And when the when the green planes are coming out on over the green land, you kind of see them. And this guy's a pain in the ass. He's just spraying bullets everywhere. Bullets that you can't see, and you've got no chance. You can take him down quite easily in the arcade, but um, <clears throat> all right, okay. Seems to be a bit of delay in the um, in the explosions as well, like the sound effect of the explosions. If there's lots going on, let's see. It's like did the red plane shoot at you. Alright, let's... Oh, side wings. Okay. Sorry, I, I got engrossed in playing the game. <laughs> um, it's quite hard to blow the nonsense. Whoa. Oh, you torag. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to... I've been comparing this to the arcade game because that's obviously the natural thing to do, but I'm going to try and, and look at this for what it is now, rather than... Which was the whole point of these videos, really, but uh, let's see how we go. We're playing it as a, a kind of standalone shooter, right? Rather than the 1942 arcade game. I don't know how this would play with a joystick, if you put auto fire on or whatever. Um, <clears throat> so the stages are different for the arcade, but that's fine, let's just, let's just go with it. But do you know what, I, I'm, I'm finding it hard to talk here because I'm getting a little bit engrossed in the game, so that's a good sign. As a, oh there we go, right. As a stand, standalone shooter on the Amstrad, right, if you've never played the arcade game, it's not too bad, for, considering when it came out. The controls are responsive, apart from the fire button, right, the, the fire is, is a little bit annoying that you kind of spray bullets everywhere. I like to be able to, you know, rattle, rattle death on everything. Oh. Helps when you're not shit as well, but... <clears throat> and I don't know how you do loops. Do you press and hold the button? No. I don't know how you do a loop in this. <clears throat> it's probably spacebar, but I've redefined that as my fire button, so it's probably my fault, but... Um... But yeah, I mean, do you know what? When it, when it came out, I kind of mind when this came out, 86, something like that, maybe? Um right, you can die. Yes. Anyway. Woo! Yeah, I mean I'm I'm managing to dodge these planes and stuff. The, the, it's, the controls are responsive. But for whenever it came out, it's it's not too bad. That's definitely the Bruce Lee sound of for collecting a, a lantern. Um 
You know, there's, there's a fair amount of enemies, and they do swoop about, and they do they, they do uh, kind of chase you down a little bit. You know, they're not just stupid. Um, yeah, it's it's not too bad. Um, the sprites are quite nice. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more animation in the the water. You know, to give the impression of water rather than just a blue background. I wish I could get one of those guys to just bugger off. But it's it's not too bad. Um, and the fact that I'm still playing it is, is you know, it's, it's, it's quite engrossing. At the end of the day, 1942 is a cracking shooter. And then this has got all the core elements of it. Um... You need to just watch it, these guys then surreptitiously get you as you land. All the elements are there, it's 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 a fun shooter on the Amstrad. Um you know it differs to the arcade, obviously. The the stages are different. Um and they're not as long. It may get a little bit repetitive, but, but I'm I'm quite enjoying it, it's alright. Pity there's no music running through the background or, or anything like that, but again, that's just the way it was back in the day. I do like that these, oh, I mean the explosions are nice and colourful, let's just turn that down just now. The explosions are nice and colourful, the, the graphics were, were very functional, it was it was not bad. I think as a, as a standalone shooter back in when this was released, it's not too bad at all. Um... Once you get away from that arcade comparison, you know it's it's a it's an homage to the the arcade game rather than an arcade port. Um, so yeah, no, I would I would say this this stands up. This is actually pretty pretty good. Uh, if I could work out what the roll button was, not ever use it. Um, it didn't even ask me to redefine that. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Um, did you enjoy 1942 in the arcade or on the Amstrad or any other system? Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye.